Hey, good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. It seems like we normally take you grocery shopping to either Carefor, Hypermart, or Giant. But today we're gonna take you to probably the most popular place to shop in Indonesia and that would be the local traditional market. Let's go check it out. Don't stop. All right, guys, we made it here to the traditional market. This is the parking lot here. And I mean, these things are all over the place. Like every, basically every village, every small town, every major city is gonna have a lot of these in the city. But then everywhere, they're everywhere. Um, you may not see them if you just stay on main roads, but um, this is where most of the people are gonna shop. All right, let's cruise on in. This sign right here says that motorcycles are forbidden to go into here. I guess except for that one and that one. We got the guy selling charcoal. Hey, fishies. Lele, lele. Yeah, catfish right there. Look at Lele. Yeah. So we're cruising in, checking out the market. Lots of fish. Oh, big fish. Look at that guy. There's three quarters of a big fish. Bagus. Yeah. Ini ikan apa? Nila. 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 Ikan mas juga ada. Yeah. More fish. More fish. Chicken. So what are we looking for anyway? We're looking for raw peanuts to boil. Jules here is wearing proper uh, market attire. Sandals and rolled up pants. Why? Well, look at the ground. Very yep. Wet. That way you can wash your feet off when you get dirty. Yeah. It's and you don't get it on up. the bottom of your pants if you roll them up. That's right. Yeah. Lots of chicken, chicken pieces. Look at it, here's all the eggs. Remember those those quail eggs that Julie had? Yeah. There you go. Quails? They lay big eggs, man. I mean, compared to the size of the bird. Oh, well, yeah. Maybe they're not really quail like the quail I think of from back home. Maybe they're like a small chicken and they just call them quail. Eggplants, big ones. Yeah, those are big. Selling all kinds of goodies here. These are those stinky beans that I like. Right here, stinky beans. What else have we got? Let's cruise on through. Ooh, watch out for the puddles. And watch out for the motorcycles that are forbidden from coming in here. Maybe we read the sign wrong. We shouldn't say that. Maybe we read the sign wrong. Here's hot and cream. I wonder what hot and cream does. Maybe it makes you hot. No, maybe it warms your muscles. Jules, it's hot and cream. Huh? Hot and cream. Makes you hot. I think it's for your muscles. For muscles. Maybe. Hot and cream. Maybe for like a muscle relaxer. Yeah. Oh, check out the well right here. Wow. It would definitely be a bummer to fall in there. That thing's really deep. Ultra loud machine running back here. What's he doing? Oh, I think it's a boxo making machine. I think this machine turns meat into paste that then they'll use to make boxo out of. So he's got ground meat right there. And now he's gonna start giving it the ultra grind. So for those of us that like to eat bakso, this is where it comes from. All right, still cruising through. Oh yeah, red bananas, huh? So many people, it's getting more crowded in this area. Yeah. Must be the more popular side of the market. Making tea, grating coconut right here. Oh, this is the grating coconut section maybe. Hello. Red beans and other kinds of beans and rice and peanuts. You like those bananas, huh? Yeah, those are good. Yeah. Look nice. Tempeh. Lots of tempeh right there. They've got clothes at the market. You can buy stuff for your kids or your wife or your husband or your friend, I guess. This is where you get the spices. Oh yeah, here's the chopped up spices. Oh, and they do the coconut. Oh, and coconut. That's cool. Oh, here's the other exit. I guess if there was a big fire, you'd have a hard time getting out because it's all chained up. Time to go back through the market. All right, so like Jules said, we're here to look for something specific. We're looking for raw peanuts because I want to show you guys how to make a traditional snack here. So 
that'll be in a different video. But we're looking for the peanuts now. Oh, All right here. Want to get these ones? Yeah, why not? These guys are what we're getting right here. Oh, yeah. Panjang atau biasa? Biasa. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Super. super aja. Ini apa? Super, super. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. She just weighed them right here on the scale. Yeah. Terima kasih. Alright, so we got our peanuts. And now, we're time to cruise back home. Well guys, that is one of the many traditional markets here in Jogjakarta. Can I say something? Yeah. <laughs> I think that um, one kind of cool thing about the markets is that usually you're going to find fresher produce if you come to the traditional market. And that's pretty cool. So if you go to the supermarket, it's going to be, yeah, just less fresh. So I think that's one of the like pluses about coming to a traditional market. That's true. <laughs> true. But you need to know at least a little bit of Indonesian, especially to know how much things cost, right? And unlike the supermarket guys, the prices aren't necessarily set, yeah? yeah? So they could tell you one price and you're supposed to barter with them a little bit and things like that. Where the supermarket, it's labeled, you, you pay can it. Use your hands though, sign language, 5,000, five, one. Just start pointing to stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You can do it. You can do it. Just practice your numbers a little bit, learn your prices, and you will be set to go. If you want to know more about Indonesia, places to go, things to do, food to eat, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we make new videos for you every day. Hope you have a really great day. And keep smiling.